All right. <clears throat> Package arrived today. This is from a Tucson uh, alternator. It's the new uh, high end unit for the van. Let's check it out. Some paperwork, nice decal. Some really good packaging. That's nice. This is the Pure Power 400 amp. Hopefully, dropping it isn't a big deal. So, this is uh, 325 amps at idle. So, it's got a smaller pulley. So we're going to need the uh, smaller belt, which uh, we have. So we'll check that out. Adapter plug, M8 power lead. It should be a little bit bigger than the original one. So I may have to change some lugs. We'll see. This is a USA made unit. And uh, looks real nice right off the get-go. So that's a, that's a great sign. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get this installed. Okay, first things first, we gotta remove the uh, air intake assembly. We will find the plug here, disconnect it, set that whole thing aside, and uh, then we can get in here, we can see the alternator there. This one is already running a Big 3 kit from Vantage Optics, so it's already running a 2 watt cable. In addition to the factory stuff, it does have the original pulley, and because the aftermarket pulley is smaller, it does need a shorter belt, uh, which we said we had. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get that guy removed. All right, take out this mount. Check out the other uh, this lower mounts here. this forward enough to get our connections off here. We'll go ahead and take them off. I did disconnect the main battery, but this unit does have a second battery. So this cable here, the big three cable will be dead. However, the uh, vehicle side cable will not be. So we'll need to be very careful that that is protected properly. And I'm just gonna wrap it with electrical tape for the time being. Make sure that it can't touch anything important. And then we can make our disconnections here and definitely use the wrong tool and we'll do this one. The gauge light, maybe. There we go. 
Now this guy here can come out. All right, alternator is now bolted in. Now, new belt is on, tension seems proper. Um, everything fits nicely. Rerouted the, uh, the auxiliary power, well, the big three power, the main power connection seemed to work. Did drill out the uh, the eyelets on the lugs very slightly to fit the M8 stud. No biggie. Uh, looks good. We'll get the rest of the intake put on and get her going. All right, all wrapped up, done. Idling properly. Right at right at 14.8 volts or higher, which is perfect. Uh, interesting to note, the original alternator here has a main plug and then this. Uh, single wire, white wire uh, plug here. It's a single. This one is the stator uh, stator tap plug, and it is no longer used on the new unit. It is not needed for for the uh, for the new system. So that's just floating in there. Otherwise, good to go here. And you can see here in the car, voltage at the OBD port, 14, 8, whatever. Voltage at the uh, amplifier in the back, 14.8. So we're looking good, very solid. We'll uh, we'll give it a stress test and see how it goes.